Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the vertical tabs. Now, uh, if you want to preview them, just go to the elements, uh, vertical tabs, either in uh, Kalia's demo or if you already imported the uh, dummy data content, just go to the vertical tabs. So these right here are the, actually this is one element but with uh, two styles. This is style one and this is style 2. Uh, this one right here is from the beginning of uh, Kalia's theme while this one was added uh, in um, version 4 of the Kalia's theme. So vertical tabs means the um, uh, tab titles are located on to the left. They have an icon, a title and the actual uh, content. And here as well. So let me just edit this page with a page builder and I will edit the options. You can choose the style and you can add as many tabs as you want. You can delete them, you can move them around, you can clone them and you can edit their settings. Now right here you can see um, we have the title, let me just say um, another title, yeah very inspired and I will select this one and save and or save. As you can see the title and the icon have uh, changed. It's basically the same thing for this style uh, as well. The um, actual, uh, I don't know how should I say it, uh, the actual uh, cool feature of this element is that you can add other elements inside this element. For example, uh, when you hover right here, you can see this is, this right here is a text box. If I remove it, you can see the column position. This is stretched uh, for 12 columns. You can resize it to 8, 9, 3, whatever you want. And you can add, of course, any content you want. Uh, almost, uh, I think every element actually should uh, stretch uh, inside the element but just make sure you don't add um, too uh, important uh, content content that is too important and is hidden because of course you wouldn't want to hide your important stuff and uh, it's good to uh, use these uh, navigation um, um, tabs but is not quite okay to exaggerate or get too crazy <laughs> adding uh, all sorts of uh, um, elements inside so basically you can uh, like I said add any element right here let me just try adding a text box add some dummy content and as you can see the content has been added you can of course in the text box you can add whatever content you want you can I don't know make some paddings settings and so on this is a very easy element um, it's quite customizable and uh, if you have any questions uh, in regards of this element feel free to ask me and if you're having issues with the element feel free to uh, subscribe to our support forums and uh, my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one